We stick together like the glue on the lashes On flee like the brows, never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town, looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever, your community don't tether Yeah, your sisters forever Girls before you missed her, be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister I said, and put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team, yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it Welcome back to my beauty's a big sister channel. I thought we'd have a little bit of a, a pamper day. I just want to make my skin feel better, my nails, my feet, just everything needs <laughs> a little bit of chill, so to be honest. And uh, there's loads of new skincare products. I've got a new uh, foot mask and hand mask that I want to use as well. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of a of an overhaul really. I did actually on Monday. Well, I think it was Sunday that I broke out, but then Monday I went on live stream and you could see just how raised my spots were. Like, you know when like they're painful spots, which I don't normally get all around this area, which now they have really calmed down. It is Thursday when I'm filming this and it's more just the after effects of a spot really rather than an actual live spot. I have been using, I don't even know how you pronounce this brand, but Amoro Visca, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, from Budapest Rejuvenating Night Cream. This is so nice. So when I do, next do my like night skincare routine, I will film this because it's beautiful and it seems to have really calmed down my skin. I've also been using it with the um, Midnight Renewal Serum. So I've put these two into my night care routine and it seems to be really paying off. This is a very, very expensive brand, so I'm not saying rush out and splurge all your money on it, but as I've been sent it, I am definitely making the most of it and my skin seems to be loving it as well. First of all, gonna go in with the Velvet Cloud Cleanser, which is a new cleanser from Skin Proud, which is ASOS's brand. So this is a whipped mousse cleansing foam. Oh, it smells really really nice feels like it's like deeply kind of cleansing as well this has got moisture boosting amino acids and brightening magnolia extract in it and then skin proud have actually launched their own little version of face halo so this is their sponges and I, to be honest i'm kind of sold by the packaging i love that they're pink it kind of goes with my bathroom like all my products are quite rosy and pink so I'm definitely going to be using these. They feel nice and soft. Oh, that has made my skin just feel really fresh. I feel like instantly uplifted with that. It's like really subtly scented as well. I don't think it would irritate my skin. It does feel super gentle. It gently dissolves impurities and all traces of makeup, leaving skin clean and balanced. I've been excited to try this. So this is the Ole Henriksen, which I haven't tried much of but i've just heard the best thing so this is the new lemonade smoothing scrub it exfoliates with ahas and lemon peel extract really like the packaging of this so it's a squeezy tube this does look like a really nice sugar scrub oh so nice i'm just gonna put this all over i'm definitely gonna try and concentrate on my chin area which is playing me up a little bit lately i'm normally not one for scrubbing my skin but I know that I need to. Um, I just haven't found a scrub that I really, really like. Um, that I will like continue to holy grail use. So I'm hoping that this is going to win me over. Leave on for up to two minutes before rinsing or rinse right away. Use two to three times per week. Which is quite a lot for a scrub. I think I'd probably start off with just once a week. I can, can start to feel a little bit of like... I don't know if it's tingly, but... Doesn't feel like irritation, I can just feel it now, if you know what I mean. Like it feels like it needs to come off. As uh, so you can see, I've got a little bit red here. I mean, I have been like scrubbing with this scrub in uh, the chin area, because I do have quite a lot of like spots underneath the skin. It's the only thing that I don't like about scrubs, like I hate this kind of residue that you get left with. You know, I hate the little granules that just seem to stick around. I can never like fully get them all off. My skin feels crazy, crazy soft. Like it feels re-texturized almost. Like not that it feels tight, but it just feels like firmer. Like I can't tell you how soft it feels. The redness is going down. I don't think it was a reaction. I think it was just where I was scrubbing and I kind of got the, the blood flowing and the blood come to the surface and that's why I looked a little bit red. I'm gonna carry on using that 
once a week because my skin feels like baby 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 soft right, now just to see to these kind of areas i'm not going to try something new because i found my holy grail found my number one uh, the elizabeth arden Prevage detox peel off mask this is amazing if you have like little bumps underneath the skin that you need to just like retexturize your skin this is amazing so i feel like it will actually work so well in conjunction with the um ole henriksen scrub i feel like these are going to be a dream team at like detoxing the skin you've probably seen me use this product about a hundred times absolute go-to if i just need my skin sorting out put a generous layer of that on and when you come to peel it off it is extremely therapeutic um if I would recommend splurging on it because it does last ages and it is the best. However, if you do want a cheaper option, then this is also amazing from Shiseido. It's the Wasu Purifying Peel Off Mask. It comes in a pink formula, which is really nice. Um, I would say that it does peel off a little bit harsher, like it does really feel like you're peeling off your skin. But it is amazing as well. Um, so yeah, if you want a cheaper version, Shiseido is brilliant. So I'm going to leave this on my skin for 20 minutes. While I do that, I'm going to get my feet and my hands prepped, ready to put sheet masks on. I haven't done this in so long, so I'm really excited. This has been on for 20 minutes now. This is the best bit about it, is that you can just grab a little bit of the corner. You can literally peel the whole thing away. Oh, it feels so nice. <laughs> cannot tell you how soft my skin feels like that for me is just my go-to product for when my skin needs to be sorted out so this now feels like completely smooth i could definitely cover this with makeup but i think by tomorrow this will pretty much be gone um so i'm going to go in with this mask now which this brand of fake sheet masks is my favorite brand uh, it's salista they are a korean skincare brand 30ml serum is infused with all of their sheet masks which i just think is incredible and um, so this is the gold glow instant facial i'm just gonna smooth this down there is so much product on this mask so i'm just gonna leave it to soak in for about 20 minutes i'm just gonna take the residue which is on the pieces of the mask that you peel off just really really coat my neck in this serum we don't want to waste this serum also i would have definitely worn a top if i thought i was just doing skincare i did actually plan to do fake tan as well but i think i'm gonna run out of time i've fully made the most of all the serum that was on that mask so now i am gonna get my sheet masks on my feet and my hands i might as well do them all in one go so i prepped my toenails already um so i'm gonna take these which are the opi advanced softening socks they've got ultra hydrating macadamia oil and shea butter it hydrates and softens even the driest feet that's what we need they smell like the pro spa range which i love if you use the oil that's what these socks smell like it's always the strangest <laughs> sensation you can see where i've moved my feet too much this split so you can actually if you want to take this bit off so that you can paint your toenails while the rest of your foot is in the mask which is a clever idea but to be honest i just want to keep these on as long as possible and paint my nails later so probably should have kept my feet a little bit more still i'm going to try and make sure that i do that on this side so you just peel back the backing of this which i'm going to struggle to do with one hand and then you just secure that around the back here and yeah i'm just gonna leave that for about 20 minutes on my feet and now i'm gonna get my hand mask on just see to my cuticles quickly before i do that what i'm gonna do to my nails now is exactly what i've done to my toenails this is magic if you don't have this invest it is so good the opi uh, exfoliating cuticle cream so i just put a little dot of it or at the end of the cuticles you don't need too much of it but then you just want to rub it into your cuticles here helps to soften the cuticles which makes it super easy to push back and then i just use my cuticle nippers to nip the dead skin so let me just show you literally push up like that so you don't need to go too heavy with it but 
push up to get rid of all that dead skin that we don't want. It makes such a difference to your manicure. I mean, I wouldn't do this if you're worried about doing this because if you do do it wrong, you can hurt yourself or end up cutting yourself. But I just take my cuticle nippers like this and then just pull away any of that dead skin there. If you don't currently do this at home, I'm just gonna show you. I know this is disgusting, but I just wanna show how much you will remove from doing this. So that is from one hand. I haven't even done this side yet. I've only done this side. You can see the difference. Um, but yeah, so much has come off. Now we're gonna go in with the gloves. So these are the Ultra Hydrating Macadamia Oil and Shea Butter Advanced Softening Glove. They have the same ingredients in them, the same kind of concept as well. You can see the lines here. You can actually rip these bits off so you could actually do your manicure while the rest of your hand is still in the glove. I personally just wouldn't do that because I prefer to just leave it on as long as I can and enjoy having my mask on. This one on, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn the camera off when I do. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now. I'm gonna have a cup of chill, 20 minutes I think, and then I will be taking all of my masks off. I ended up having this on for so long, like it's literally stuck to my face. So I'm gonna get my gloves off. There is still a lot of product in the glove to be honest, so I would be tempted to use them again, but super, super hydrated hands. And now, oh, this is so dry from where I've had it on for so long. How has my eyebrows stayed on so well? I'm impressed at my eyebrows, they would be everywhere. I'm gonna leave the serum on my face that has gone in through that mask. I'm gonna go in, I've got a new tub. I've finished one tub of my Elizabeth Arden Vitamin C capsules. This is my favorite serum ever, 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 but I won't bore you and talk about it even more. Um, so I will leave the link below to my Elizabeth Arden products that I use. I'm so sad because my grade eight cream is sold out everywhere. I'm praying they haven't discontinued it, so hopefully that'll come back in stock soon. And um, so I'm just now gonna go in with the Ardent Hyaluronic Serum. This is what I use every day, these two together. Just super, super glowy skin. This is what the capsules look like. And because I've actually run out of my Elizabeth Arden Great 8, I am using the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is just another like go-to for me. I do absolutely love this cream and it's super hydrating. I feel like it sits nicely under makeup. I really, really like this cream and I know that it agrees with my skin. In as well. I have a brand new range from Bare Minerals, which is a plant-based retinol. So we've got the Phyto Retinol Eye Cream, I think that's how you say it, which I am gonna put on. Hayley Bieber is the ambassador for this range. So she was on the event Zoom, which we had the other day. And she said she loves this eye cream. And I do love the Bare Minerals eye cream. So I thought I would like this. And I do. It's nice and lightweight. So I, yeah, you can use this retinol in the morning. Which obviously you can't normally do. So because this is a plant-based retinol, it is fine to go in somewhere. So you can use all of this range day and night. And then we have, I'm excited about this one. So it is a neck cream. I have these like deep lines, which they call like tech neck, because I'm always like that on my phone, <laughs> um, on my neck. So do you know what? I'm here for a neck cream if it's actually gonna work on my deep lines. So I'm gonna use, it's quite a big tub that you get. Wow, it's thick. It's like a souffle. It's super, super thick in texture. Oh, that's how thick it is. <laughs> Generous layer on. And I think I'm just gonna do this every day and night and I will let you guys know if I see a difference. I might actually take some before and after pictures to see. Yeah, if this helps my neck, I will be so happy. Actually, <laughs> this is meant to be used in the evening, but I am gonna apply it now. It's the Sleep Gradual Tanning Drops by Sienna Rex. I have tried, obviously, other drops, but I haven't tried any from Sienna Rex before. So I'm gonna put this straight on to my face. 
the drop at all and use my fingers to blend this in and then I'm just gonna wash my fingers after these are gradual so I'm thinking that you would need to build this up over a few days but I'll be intrigued to see if it gives a good amount of color because I love the Sienna X gradual body it doesn't have a scent to it which I really like so don't be scared that you're gonna <laughs> smell of fake tan. Here's my pamper session done. I am feeling super hydrated everywhere. My skin is looking glowing. I'm just going to leave my skin for today. No makeup for me. Um, I'm going to let my skin breathe. I will come back in the morning and show you how my skin is looking. I'm hoping that it's going to be glowy and I'm hoping that this area would have calmed down quite a bit. So fingers crossed for a good night's sleep and hopefully these skin products have worked. Good morning, I am so gutted that I filmed this whole video looking like how I did yesterday with my greasy slick back hair and <laughs> spotty skin. But we've got to be real on here, so I apologize for how I looked. I've been editing this video like, oh my God, do I even put this up? I look so gross. <laughs> but anyway, washed my hair. I'm just going in with my vitamin C capsule and then I'll go in with my hyaluronic. I'm really impressed with the colour that that fake tan gave me. Um, <laughs> remind me never, ever, ever to apply gradual with my hands. I never normally do that. I always use a face brush, so I don't know what come over me yesterday. But you can see that it gives a good colour because look at my <laughs> hands. Typical kind of face tans, they always seem to cling to these areas here. So I think, yeah, I would definitely apply with a brush next time and concentrate more on like my cheeks. Um, my forehead's got a really nice color actually. Yeah. So I'm really happy with that. Um, my spots haven't completely gone, but they are pretty much just a mark now rather than like an active spot. So um, yeah, I think they'll go down in the next couple of days. I'm just gonna go in now with my Elemis. Uh, Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which I've realized doesn't have SPF in it. I'm used to using my Arden with SPF. So if anyone can recommend a good SPF that I can put on top of this, then please do let me know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's actually been a really long one. Um, I realized that most of my videos are about normally about 10 minutes, which I've seen some YouTubers videos be like an hour long so I'm thinking that maybe my videos might be a bit too short so let me know if you enjoyed this a longer video and if you want me to do longer videos from now on honestly every single comment just means the world so please please do leave me a comment subscribe if you haven't already I hope you're having a really good week and I will see you in my next video bye yeah, with beauty's big sister check it